Hey everyone, hope you all are well. I have been requested to hop on the latte makeup trend, so I'm giving you my take on it today. We're focusing on the eyes, so grab your caramel tones and then let's get started. So the first thing I'm doing as always is priming the eye area and to do that I'm taking my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I'm using the applicator itself to add a few swipes of this across the eye area and then I'm taking the tapered end of my double-ended brush that came with the Naked Ultraviolet palette and I'm using this to buff and blend that primer into the skin and I'm doing this anywhere that I'll be adding shadow and this will just ensure that the shadows go on nice and smoothly, they blend nice and easily and they last all day long as well. So word on the street for this trend is that we focus more so on those uh, various shades of brown that have a more caramel tone to them. So the perfect palette for this look is the Naked Honey palette uh, from Urban Decay. So the first shade I am taking is called Swarm. I'm using this as a transition shade and I've picked this up on a ra rather large blending brush. This is the iconic bronze CCQ04 brush and I'm adding the shadow into the crease. So this applies and blends shadow very well, naturally because of its size. It coats a vast area very quickly, which is handy. And I'm just blending that color back and forward using large uh, circular motions to fade it out. And I'm taking this shadow quite high up towards the brow bone. I'm bringing it right into that inner corner of the eye towards the nose. And then I'm fading it right out to the tail of the brow and almost a little bit beyond. So that's one layer done. I'm picking up a little more shadow on the brush again, going back in and repeating those same steps just to build up the intensity of the shadow. Uh, start with a small amount and gradually build up your shadow in light layers and that way you'll get a seamless blend. Once I'm happy with how that looks, I'm taking the shade Hive. It's a nice light to medium toned brown with a matte finish to it. And I'm using the iconic bronze CCQ05 brush to add this. The previous larger brush was actually the 04. Um, but I've started by tapping this down on the outer third of the eye, pushing it a little towards the center of the lid. We will be coating the lid entirely soon, but I didn't want to go straight into the crease with this shade. I wanted the bulk of the color off of the brush. That's why I started on the lid and then I faded upwards from there. So I've used a smaller brush just so that I could get deeper into the crease and be a bit more precise with my application. I want to add a bit of structure and depth to the eye without covering up that transition shade that I applied previously. So I'm just working on blending over and back in the crease and really winging it out on that outer edge. So once I'm happy then with how that looks, I'm picking up a little bit more of that shade hive on my brush. This time I'm tapping and pressing it down all the way across the lid. I'm using a blending brush for this step as opposed to a flat shader brush because I do want a softer appearance. And the more dense the brush, the more shadow it'll pack on. And I suppose the more pigmented it'll appear. So I'm using a fluffy blending brush instead just to give me a nice light wash of color. I'm working my way through the browns now, so the next shade I'm taking is called Drip. It's a little bit deeper than the shade previously used and then the one before that. And I'm building up the shadows not only in layers but also from light to dark to add a nice bit of structure to the eyes. I'm using that same blending brush and I'm tapping this down on the very outer edge of the eye and then patting the brush up and around in a sort of C shape into the crease and then I'm feathering the shadow upwards and outwards towards the tail of the brow. So when I have a lot less product left on my brush, I'm then going to take what's left on the brush over across the crease towards the nose, just so that dark brown fades in with everything else. I don't want it to appear like a big blob on the outer portion of the eye. Thank you. 
So once again, just keep on applying and blending in nice light layers until you're happy with the intensity and blend of the shadow. And listen, is this look a glorified brown smoky eye? Yes, yes it is. But that's the thing with trends a lot of the time. It's the same sort of concept, different titles. And this is just one that's blowing up this time. But I'm all about it. I love a good sultry soft brown smoky eye. And it's perfect for this time of year in particular. I'm focusing on the eyes today naturally as that's what I do. But complexion wise you want to just keep things nice and dewy and bronzed. So I'm using that CC Q04 brush with no product on it and I'm just buffing around the edges of the look to make sure everything is nice and soft and faded. And then I'm taking the Shadow Sting on a double-ended brush. This is the CC Q01. It's got a nice uh, angled brush on one end and a spoolie on the other. And I'm using that dark brown to add a little bit of a lift to the outer edge of the eye. I'm patting the shadow into the lashes and then slightly above onto the upper lash line. And just stopping on the outer edge. There's no wing today. There's no harsh liner or black shadow or anything of the sort. So what I do to the top, I'm going to do to the bottom. So I'm just repeating those same steps as above, down below. So I'm starting out by using that first shade that I used as the transition shade, Swarm. And I'm applying this all the way down along the lower lash line with a Sedona Lace a bullet shape brush. Then I'm using Hive next and applying this just down along there, smoking it all the way into the inner corner of the eye with a nice light hand. And then I'm going to do the same with a little bit of the shade Drip, uh, focusing this more so into the actual lashes themselves. And again, bringing it from outer to inner corner. And then for the last little bit of definition, I'm going back in with that angled brush. I've picked up a little bit of the darkest brown in the palette, that Sting. And I'm just wriggling this right into the lash bed. And once I've kind of got that on there, um, I'm bringing it maybe about halfway across the lash line i'm going to use that bullet shape brush again just to layer over it and just really soften it out finally for the shadow then i'm taking the shade golden which is very appropriately named and I'm using a Sigma pencil brush, the E30, just to apply a little of this around the tear duct of the eye, just to add a little bit of brightness, a little bit of shimmer. And then to complement that, I'm going in with a liner from L'Oreal. This is a golden liner, but it's actually quite subtle. And I'm using this just to line the waterline, just to add a really nice subtle pop, a little subtle shimmer. Um, And then I've added the um Ardell wispy lashes and I've actually applied them a little bit further over towards the outer corner so that I have a nice little bit of lift there and I've used the L'Oreal airbrush mascara to blend my own lashes in with the false ones and that's it so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and found it helpful and easy to follow if you did let me know and I'll catch you all really soon